Hi, I am Allison Tandry of DIY Salvation here to tell you why I am no longer a Scientologist and practice Trom instead. I'll confess, scripting this I started with a document thousands of words long full of self-indulgent bitching and once I got over myself, decided to just cover a few main points, in a civilized way. I am a traumer, and I help others learn traum. I used to be a Scientologist, and I would help others learn Scientology. I still believe the Scientology technology works and can benefit others. I have no regrets over what I did to help others or help myself using it. So why the switch? Why stop doing something if it's working for myself and others? The Church of Scientology is not for everyone. Though Hubbard may have started out with his book Dianetics the Modern Science of Mental Health as a way for one to resolve their mental condition by reading the book and teaming up with another, so that if everyone did this, we could have a world without insanity, criminality and war, it just didn't work out that way. Hubbard eventually had to admit, if only to himself, that the techniques for achieving this so-called cleared planet would have to be applied by trained individuals under the scrutiny of an organization and that there were techniques more advanced than what he originally wrote in Dianetics the modern science of mental health that would require more specialized practitioners to deliver. This all snowballed into a larger organization with a larger membership and ultimately higher costs for everyone involved. Not everyone can conform to the church's policies. Not everyone can afford to do their services without either going heavily into debt or working for the church itself for as much as 80 hours a week for minimal pay and receiving training in counseling as part of their staff contract. And on top of all that, with the terrible things written online or shown on the news by ex-members who go on and on about how horrible they are, it's no surprise that so many people stay away from Scientology and the church. Yet none of that managed to keep me away. At first, I was more than willing to comply with their policies. The high cost of services was an obstacle I knew I could eventually overcome. And I don't believe everything I see on the internet or the news. Yet I ended up leaving the church anyway. And once again, you ask, why? Why would I leave the church? Did you know that there are people who are perfectly willing to pay large sums of money, conform to all the policies of the organization? and ignore all the bad press, who desperately want auditing but are denied such by the church? I am talking about people who have either worked for government agencies that the church thinks of as enemies, those who are terminally ill, or those who have had psychiatric treatment. For such people, at best they are only allowed to take the Scientology courses, but are not allowed to receive the specialized Scientology counseling known as auditing. I happen to be of that last category, ineligible to receive auditing from the Church of Scientology because at one time in my teens I was placed in an institution and given psychiatric medications to treat an eating disorder. Now upon finding this out, I did not just leave in a huff never to return, though sometimes I wish I did just that. Instead, I stayed a member in hopes one day I could train enough to change their minds. Because there are people who have trained to become auditors and who have petitioned the church, received their auditing, and are now happy church members. And if things had gone differently, I would be one of them. Halfway through my auditor training, the church came out with what's called the Golden Age of Tech, which culminated into a revision of the books, the courses, the auditing, a complete overhaul, as it was alleged that the church had for decades not been doing everything exactly as L. Ron Hubbard intended, and they wanted to set everything straight. Sounds like really good news, right? Well, to an extent it was, because the quality of delivery really did improve. But the downside is that anyone trained in the older methods with the older materials was required to retrain at their own expense, and I refused to do this. It's still quite a problem for the church, as I am not the only one who stopped training because of it, and the church is still trying to recover such people, and having very little success in doing so. Who knows? I might have thrown my principles about how I shouldn't have to pay for retraining if they gave me the training wrongly in the first place out the window eventually. They might have eventually worn me down and got me to agree to it if only I had not found out about TROM. TROM is short for the resolution of the mind. It was developed by Dennis Stevens, a career Scientologist and personal friend of L. Ron Hubbard, 
as an alternative to Scientology auditing. It is a way to achieve the stated goals of Scientology just without the auditor or the church. What makes Trom different from other Scientology alternatives is that Dennis Stevens researched and documented his findings intending to share his results with L. Ron Hubbard. He just never got the chance. He wasn't trying to rival the church. He was trying to help. That separates Dennis Stevens' work from many others who left Scientology and came up with something to try and compete with them. And I am glad I tried it. Everything I'd hoped to gain from Scientology auditing, I got from Trom instead. Plus a few pleasant surprises to boot. I now pursue my spiritual freedom, but I also enjoy a great deal of personal freedom that a parishioner of the Church of Scientology simply does not have. One cannot practice Trom and be a card-carrying member of the Church. Such practices are frowned upon, and those who engage in spiritual practices developed by former Scientologists are labeled squirrels, thrown out of the Church with a warning to all of its other members not to ever speak to them again lest they be thrown out too. Because of this, I stay anonymous in what I do. Instead of loudly denouncing the Church, I quietly left instead. I don't want to place any of my friends and family in any sort of dilemma of having to choose between me and the church because of Trom. I leave the church and their members alone, and so far, they've left me alone, and I think it's all for the best that way. You don't have to be a disaffected Scientologist to practice Trom. Dennis meant it for everyone. Though I have no illusions of millions of people practicing Trom, everyone should at least have a chance to learn it and practice it and that's why I am no longer a Scientologist, but a Traumer, and invite you to learn about this subject too. If you are a member of the Church of Scientology, and you are happy with them, then never mind any of this. Traum is not for you. It has never been, nor ever will be, my intent to talk anyone out of their religion or their religious affiliations, and I want to be absolutely clear on that one point. But if you've already made up your mind about the Church, and are looking for an alternative, or are simply curious about Trom, I invite you to watch the video Time Breaking the Illusion of Time Explained, and if you are already familiar with Dianetics, I recommend returning in Dianetics versus Time Breaking in Trom as your first video. Scientology, as useful and interesting as it once was, is simply not a viable option for many people, if only for the fact that the church is selective about whom they help. Strictly speaking, they do have that right. And at the same time, you have the right to change your path, especially if the path offered to you is packed with roadblocks and toll booths. Thanks for your time. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind, resolve it.